What does it mean if you see a face in a dream? Specifically, if you see like a particular face that keeps coming up or if it's like a face that you don't recognize and you keep seeing the face in a dream or a nightmare, then what does it mean? Well, the truth is actually kind of weird. So I thought I'd make a whole video to talk about this. Before we start, I just wanna let you know that the human brain can't actually create a new face. I didn't realize this until the other day. Your brain is incapable of creating a new face. You can only see a face in a dream from a memory. So at some point in your life, whatever the face is that you're seeing in a dream, you have seen it in real life. That's kind of creepy to think about, right? By the way, with dream meanings and stuff like that, you can't really understand what the dream means until you actually remember your dreams. So if you're having trouble remembering your dreams, I have a guide, PDF guide, link is in the description. It's like a mini kind of program, which explains exactly how to remember 10 times more dreams. It's actually really cool. Okay, so basically when you dream about a particular face in a dream, it usually indicates kind of like what you think about the person. Because like I said, you can't create new faces. So whatever the face is, especially if it's someone you know, that will usually show you what you think about the person in real life. And by the way, with dream meanings, I know it's complicated. I know it's very subjective. There's different things that happen. So in this video, I'm just gonna kind of generalize a little bit and just share what seeing a face in a dream means for most people. And then you can kind of like take what works and apply it to yourself. So yeah, take it with a grain of salt. Or if you only focus on and remember the person's face, it usually means that you take them kind of at face value. It's like you don't actually see the qualities of the person, you more just kind of see their physical attributes like body and face. It's also interesting that usually in a dream, we only see somebody else's face. We very rarely see our own face. And when you do see your own face, it can mean different things for different people, but usually it means you're seeing kind of like how you feel about yourself. This is also sometimes known as your residual self-image. You may have remember this term from the matrix when he's kind of like in that white space and he kind of sees his body, but it's not really his body. And he says, how, how am I able to see my body if none of this is real? Well, of course, it's because it's your own brain's idea of what you look like, your residual self-image. So it's kind of left over from before. You can see your residual self-image if you see your own face in a dream. It's kind of like what you feel and think about yourself. So this is another reason why I, I tend to say to people, especially beginners, not to look in a mirror in a lucid dream. Because as a beginner, the idea of a residual self-image, the idea of like diving into your deepest beliefs about yourself, it's kind of intense. It can be very uncomfortable, unsettling. In some cases, it can even be scary to really see how you feel about yourself subconsciously. That's not always <laughs> a good thing. You know, sometimes that's scary or uncomfortable. So that's why I say avoid looking in a mirror, unless you're a bit more advanced and a bit more experienced. It's also very important to, when you see this face in the dream, to really pay attention to kind of the expression on the face. It might even be a micro expression and it might even just be like how you kind of feel about the face. You might look at the face in the dream and kind of feel scared, or you might look at it and kind of feel like a sense of belonging, a homey sense, like something familiar. This really kind of shows you what you feel and think about that person. It might also be used as a kind of a label. So this is a really interesting thing, right? Let's say if you don't recognize the face, so it's just a face of a, on a stranger. Like I said, you've probably seen that face at some point. So your brain has assigned that face to that person as a kind of a label. So if that person in the dream, the dream character, who has that face, if that person is doing something specific, your brain has assigned a certain facial expression to that character to show you what you feel about what that character is doing. I know that's a bit confusing to follow, but let me give you an example. Let's say a dream character is stealing something, okay, in a dream, and you look at their face, and then on their face is like this kind of like screwed up, kind of like angry face. Basically what that is showing you is that your subconscious mind feels angry, because it's a reflection, isn't it? your subconscious mind feels angry about what that character is doing, so they're stealing. So it's kind of an interesting mirror. It shows you the face is kind of like a, your own brain putting a label on something. In the same way, if you see somebody you know, and then their facial expression is, I don't know, really happy, that kind of shows you that you feel happy w when you're with that person or when you, when you think about that person. I could obviously dive way more into this, but dream meanings, you know, it, I don't tend to focus on that on this channel, but I do have a book specifically about how to remember more dreams. It's kind of like a book and a mini program, some bonuses and stuff. So if you want to remember more detail about your dreams, maybe see kind of like more of the context about the dream that you had where you were seeing a face, then you should definitely check out the book, which is in the description, and you'll learn how to 10x your dream recall. Like you'll be able to remember dreams in incredible detail and they'll be really vivid as well. I also have videos about this, by the way. Uh, so check out my channel 
make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time.